Hello, 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 you too. Welcome to Ambrose Landscaping. Uh, today we're going to do another update on things that are going on in Ambrose Landscaping. I've been trying to do the day in the life, uh, but it gets hard with, uh, at the time, training the employee, and then we're just busting out jobs and stuff like that. But we'll hopefully for sure try to get that. I actually got some footage of a day in the life a week, two weeks ago. I just haven't done it yet. So, anyways, one of the biggest things is, I'll go ahead and show you right now. We got an Xmark Commercial 30. I uh, decided to upgrade to the Commercial 30. Uh, a lot of people have been telling me uh, good things about them compared to the Toros. And uh, so we got that. We've had it for about a week a week or so. And we got it for $1,000. Uh, found it on Craigslist, bought it at a dealer. And um, so far, I really like it. So once we get a little bit more hours and some footage, then we're going to go ahead and do a review on that. So today we are working on the Toros. We're getting these uh, all cleaned up and getting ready to sell them. Uh, just got done pressure washing them a little bit ago. And uh, now working on the belt. That's what I'm gonna do a quick video on is how to do that. But uh, we'll probably do actually a separate video for that. So, but we got the two Toros right here. Of course, the Honda in the back, that, that one was getting really dirty. And we went and picked up a little pressure washer. We just got this one from Home Depot. Um, I've had two pressure washers, uh, electric ones in the past, and uh, if they have low water pressure at your house, then um, they really burn up the motor fast. This one seems to be doing really good. I'm actually very surprised. And I wanted a little tiny handheld one, uh, not really handheld, but you know, one that's small where I can just throw it in a shed real quick or, uh, you know, it's just like really easy to use and especially the wife can use it too when she does her projects. So we got that one and I have a Honda pressure washer. It's in the storage unit, but with using the gas, especially with just doing it like a light cleanup, just getting, you know, cleaning up the decks and stuff. I didn't want something too heavy where it starts peeling the paint off, which is, you know, what's going on with the Toros reel right now. And, um, and then of course you have to put gas in it. It's running all the time where the electric, you just squeeze it and it turns on when you want it to. So anyways, I'm actually very surprised with that. That was pretty nice. So, so like I said, right now we got, Here's one of the Toros, you know, we got both of them right now. And that one, I'm tightening up the belt on that. So I'm gonna actually do a quick video on how to tighten up the belt because I've had some people uh, ask me. Um, so, uh, let's see, why is that? Yeah, it's, okay, cool. Well, uh, actually, hold on just a second, I gotta wipe something down. <clears throat> actually, what happened um, about a week and a half ago was, um, the straps in one of the trailers accidentally snagged the oil fill cap right here and it snapped it right at the bottom. So we, and that happened on that mower right there. No, it was this one and then we switched it over. And so um, we ordered in some parts and got that fixed. So what we've done so far to the mowers is like I said, we pressure wash them um, underneath the decks and uh, on top. Took the covers off by the belts and pressure wash all that so that that looks nice and clean. Changed the oil. New, uh, we put new uh, oil filters on, and make sure those are look good. Uh, so we put some new oil filters on. We put some new fuel filters on. These ones are a lot better. They're a lot bigger compared to the ones that are stock. I didn't really care for them. And then of course, got some new air filters um, because of that one video I told you with the other ones. I noticed that the the foam on the bottom the bottom of it was starting to uh, kind of chip apart, I guess you could say, or peel apart. And they say that that can get clogged in the carburetor. So uh, be very careful um, about that. And yeah, make sure you guys watch that. So so just getting these all over, let's see, the, the next thing we gotta do is, of course, make sure we don't have any leaks, make sure that our oil filters are on nice and tight. Uh, like I said, fresh new oil and Next thing we're gonna do is we just check the oil levels. Um, and I'm gonna put some brand new blades under these. And then we got the bags over there, they're drying out. We just pressure wash those, kind of clean them out. So they're not too bad because uh, they were really dirty. Kind of clean them up a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys. Um, so in one of my videos when I did the, the Toro Turf Master review, uh, I talked about how the Toro was making this ticking noise. It was like, t -t 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 and you can really hear it in one of the videos. And so I figured out what it was. We took the cover off. Uh, as you can see, this is the cover right here. And um, you know, you just got one, two, three, uh, four bolts that you just gotta unscrew and then you gotta kinda work it around all the pulleys and stuff like that. But I'm gonna take you back and 
uh, this pulley right here, this is what your the ticking is from, because uh, this is your tension pulley, as you can see, it kind of goes in and out, and uh, it's connected to the cable. So of course you can tighten this, um, loosen this bolt, and you go left to right, uh, you know, left to tighten it, right to loosen it, um, and so you got to kind of work with that, because uh, a few weeks ago when we were working on them, what we just what we found out, I had me and my buddy do it, and what happens is that if you go too tight. When you go to engage the blade, slip it over and pull it up, uh, it, there's a lot of tension on it, uh, on your hands. And so what happens is that you barely pull down and um, there's, it's just like not that comfortable on your hands. Uh, so you kind of, you got to find that middle because if it's too loose, it'll really rattle. So kind of looking at it, the belt's really, really loose. Um, I just saw that. Let's see if I can, uh, I don't want to pinch my fingers. The belt's definitely getting worn down, I can tell, but I definitely saw a uh, crack in one of the belt in this belt somewhere. Oh, there it is, right there. If you guys can see that, hopefully you guys can, uh, right here where my finger's at, definitely starting to crack. Um, so because of that, it's really loose, and so because it's really loose, that tensioner was just going, and it makes this really annoying no uh, noise when you're going. So all we did was just tighten up the belt. It, re it is really good. So all you got, we got to get a new belt for this anyways. Um, so I'm gonna have to tell that guy what whoever buys it. So anyways, um, but that's that's really all you do. Like I said, if you're hearing this ticking noise, even on your X mark, it just means that your belt's getting worn down and that your tensioner is just struggling to kind of keep it, uh, you know, tight so that it's still going around. So all you gotta do is just loosen this one bolt right here, and I forgot what the what size it takes all you gotta do is tight loosen this right here and then pull this cable left or right and that will tighten it um, and then when you engage it like I said what you need to do is make sure you have the cover off of course and so what you need to do is after you tighten it start it up engage the blades and then also walk with it because what we were uh, a few weeks ago we had a hard time trying to figure out that middle because what was happening was we would tighten it and we would engage the blades it wouldn't make the noise but when we pulled the lever for the clutch and it started moving forward it started we started hearing that noise and so we had to kind of back it off a little bit and like i said you got to kind of work with it to find that that right uh spot but usually it just means that the belt's really getting worn down and you just got to get a new belt uh which we're going to do so anyways like i said the the toro has been really good you know i was really happy with them but after running the x mark for a week me and my employee we both see a huge difference in the Toro's and X-Mark. And I'll probably do another video on that. Some of the quick things that I noticed in the X-Mark versus the Toro, the weight of the X-Mark is actually quite lighter. I, I didn't realize how light it was. Um, it kind of, I think it's more up in the, it's more up in the front. Well, actually it's more in the back of the Toro's. They're actually pretty heavy and I did not realize how, how heavy they were because I'm used to my Hondas. And those aren't too heavy. Um, so definitely a huge weight difference, and I was actually very shocked. Um, let me go ahead and I'll go ahead and grab the X mark, and I'm gonna we're gonna do a side by side comparison. Well, let's just do the video now, because I haven't posted something in a while, and you guys want some some stuff. So let me get the X mark, and we'll start doing some comparisons. All right.